Hi, and welcome to the tutorial on how to enter objectives into the BJA Training and Technical Assistance Reporting Portal, also known as the BJA TTARP. What are objectives? Our objectives are the steps that need to be taken in order to fulfill the goals of your award. They help draw clear connections between your organization's award activities and the overall purpose of the award for both you and BJA staff. Objectives are often made in consultation with the BJA policy advisor at the beginning of the award and updated as the award activities progress. I'm going to demonstrate how to enter and update an award in our staging site. So this is what the page looks like when you first log on to the BJA and TAC website. You'll then navigate over here to the TTA reporting portal page. There are multiple ways to enter an objective, but I'm going to demonstrate how to enter an objective using the funding records page. If you scroll down here, you'll see the awards associated with your organization. Select the award that you'd like to update the objective for and come over here to the, where you see this plips button over the objective text. When you click it, it'll generate the form to create a new objective. The first thing you'll enter is an objective ID. This should be something that's unique to this objective that can be used to identify it in the case of using an import tool. So let's say for this objective, it's going to be about supporting a monthly coordinating meeting. So I'm just going to write an abbreviation and we'll say it is 2022. The next thing you'll enter is the objective title. This is the title that describes the objective and its purpose, and it will show up on all summary pages and your semi-annual grant report. So we'll say that this one will be monthly coordinating meetings. Down here for your objective description, you'll write a few sentences about the objective. Once you've completed all of the information about your objectives, you can set the status. There are a few statuses to choose from. Pending is when the activities associated with the objective have not yet begun. Active is when the activities are ongoing. And then completed is, one, is what you change it to once all of the activities associated with the award are complete. If at any point you find that you are no longer going to complete the award objective, you can select this canceled option. This will make sure that this objective does not appear on any of your summaries or any of your reports. So for now, let's say that this objective is active. You'll select this button if you've discussed this objective with your BJA policy advisor. The preview button allows for you to preview what it will look like once you've saved your objective here. If everything here looks correct, you can click the save button and this will save the objective to your award. If you come back to your funding records page, you can view what all of your objectives are by clicking this I button here next to the award and scrolling down to the related objectives section. Here you'll see the objective that we just entered is appearing. If you need to change the status, you can click this edit button and it'll take you to the same page where you can scroll to the bottom and change the status from active to completed and then click the save button. If you'd like additional help in completing your objectives or you have any other questions, there are several resources available to you. You can visit our website and view the BJA TTARP interest group or you can email or call the BJA NTAC team at the email address and phone number listed below. You can also schedule a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with a member of our data team. Thank you for joining us today.